Hey everyone, welcome back to Million Mile Microscope, where we explore the cosmos, one celestial body at a time. Today we're setting our sights on a planet we've explored many times before, Mars, but this time we're not focusing on the red planet itself. Instead, we're diving deep into the mysteries of its two intriguing companions, Phobos and Deimos. These aren't your average moons, folks. They're small, oddly shaped, and shrouded in enigma. Where did they come from? What secrets do they hold? And could they one day serve as a launching pad for human exploration of the Martian surface? Subscribe to our channel, buckle up, and prepare to explore the fascinating world of Phobos and Deimos. And don't forget to hit that like button and share this cosmic journey with your fellow space enthusiasts. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you. So picture this, Mars, the red planet, a desolate yet strangely beautiful world. Now imagine two tiny specks orbiting this alien landscape. These are Phobos and Deimos, Mars' very own moons. But unlike our own moon, a majestic sphere of rock and dust, these two are, well, a little rough around the edges. Phobos, the larger of the two, resembles a giant misshapen potato, measuring a mere 17 miles across. Deimos, even smaller, is more like a cosmic pebble, barely nine miles in diameter. And if you thought their appearance was strange, wait till you hear about their density. See, our moon is a hefty object with a density suggesting a solid composition. But Phobos and Deimos, they're incredibly lightweight, almost fluffy in cosmic terms. This has led scientists to believe that these moons might not be solid rock at all, but rather piles of rubble loosely held together by gravity. It's a cosmic mystery that has puzzled astronomers for centuries. Where did these celestial oddballs come from? Well, that's a question that has sparked heated debates among astronomers for decades. One prevailing theory suggests that Phobos and Deimos were once asteroids roaming the vast expanse of the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Imagine a cosmic game of billiards with these two asteroids getting knocked off course by a gravitational nudge from Jupiter, the solar system's gravitational bully. This nudge sent them hurtling towards the inner solar system where Mars, with its relatively weak gravitational pull, managed to capture them, turning them into its eternal companions. But there's another theory, one that's a bit more dramatic. It proposes that early in Mars's history, a massive object, perhaps a rogue planet, collided with the red planet in a cataclysmic event. This impact ejected a tremendous amount of debris into orbit around Mars, debris that eventually coalesced to form Phobos and Deimos. Now, even though Phobos and Deimos are both moons of Mars, their fates couldn't be more different. You see, Phobos, the larger, closer moon, is on a collision course with its planetary host. Every year, Phobos inches a little closer to Mars, drawn in by the red planet's relentless gravitational pull. It's a slow but inevitable death spiral. Scientists estimate that in about 50 million years, Phobos will get so close to Mars that tidal forces will rip it apart, scattering its remains into a ring of debris around the red planet. Deimos, on the other hand, is slowly but surely escaping Mars's grasp. Its orbit is gradually expanding, pushing it farther and farther away from its planetary companion. Eventually, millions of years from now, Deimos will break free from Mars's gravitational clutches and embark on a solitary journey through the cosmos. Let's talk about the orbital dance of these Martian moons. Phobos, the daredevil of the duo, whips around Mars at an astonishing speed. Imagine this. It completes an orbit around the red planet in just under eight hours. That's faster than Mars rotates on its axis. So if you were standing on the surface of Mars, you'd see Phobos rise in the west, zip across the sky and set in the east, all within a single Martian day. Talk about a celestial speed demon. Deimos, the more leisurely of the two, takes its sweet time orbiting Mars. It completes one orbit every 30 hours, a bit longer than a Martian day. This means that Deimos would appear to move very slowly across the Martian sky, taking about 2.7 days to rise, cross the sky and set again. Now, these Martian moons aren't just celestial curiosities. They hold tantalizing clues about the history of Mars and the early solar system. And who better to unlock those secrets than our friends at the Japanese space agency, JAXA? 
They're planning an ambitious mission called MMX, short for Martian Moons Exploration, set to launch in the mid-2020s. Imagine a spacecraft equipped with cutting-edge instruments embarking on a daring journey to Phobos. This mission will study Phobos in detail, analyzing its composition, mapping its surface, and even collecting samples to be returned to Earth for analysis. And that's not all. MMX will also make close observations of Deimos, giving us a better understanding of this smaller, more distant moon. Now, let's talk about the future. As we venture further into our cosmic backyard, the idea of establishing a human presence on Mars becomes increasingly tantalizing. But landing on and launching from Mars is no easy feat. That's where Phobos comes in. Some scientists believe that this little moon could serve as a perfect staging ground for future human missions to Mars. Imagine a space station perched on the surface of Phobos acting as a hub for Martian exploration. From this vantage point, astronauts could remotely control rovers and other equipment on the Martian surface, conduct scientific experiments, and even acclimatize to the Martian environment before venturing down to the planet itself. Now, if you ever had the chance to visit Phobos, you'd experience something truly bizarre. You see, Phobos has incredibly weak gravity, so weak that you'd feel almost weightless on its surface. Imagine this, a person who weighs 150 pounds on Earth would weigh a mere ounce on Phobos. That's lighter than a feather. You could easily leap over small buildings, throw a baseball into orbit, and even walk upside down without falling off. This weak gravity is a result of Phobos's small size and low density. It's a stark reminder that gravity, the force that governs the cosmos, can vary dramatically from one celestial body to another. Now, let's take a closer look at the surface of Phobos. It's a desolate, alien landscape, pockmarked with craters of all shapes and sizes. These craters are the result of countless impacts from asteroids and other space debris over billions of years. One crater in particular stands out. It's called Stickney Crater, named after the wife of Asaph Hall, the astronomer who discovered Phobos and Deimos. Stickney is a massive impact crater, spanning over six miles in diameter. That's more than a third of Phobos's diameter. The impact that created Stickney was so powerful that it nearly shattered the moon. It's a testament to the violent history of our solar system. Here's a fascinating fact about Phobos and Deimos. They're tidally locked to Mars. Now, what does that mean? It means that these moons always show the same face to their planetary host, just like our moon always shows the same face to Earth. Imagine this. One side of Phobos and Deimos is eternally bathed in Martian sunlight, while the other side is perpetually shrouded in darkness. This tidal locking is caused by the gravitational interaction between Mars and its moons. Over millions of years, Mars's gravity has slowed down the rotation of Phobos and Deimos until they reached a point where their rotational period matched their orbital period. Now, establishing a base on Phobos, as romantic as it sounds, comes with its own set of challenges. For starters, there's the issue of radiation. Unlike Earth, with its protective magnetic field, Phobos is exposed to the full brunt of the Sun's harmful radiation. Any future base on Phobos would need robust radiation shielding to protect its inhabitants. Then there's the issue of microgravity. While the weak gravity of Phobos might seem fun at first, long-term exposure to microgravity can have detrimental effects on human health. And finally, there's the challenge of anchoring structures to Phobos's surface. Its low density and lack of a solid core make it difficult to build stable structures. We'd need to develop specialized technologies to overcome these challenges. So there you have it, folks. A glimpse into the strange and wonderful world of Phobos and Deimos, Mars' enigmatic companions. From their uncertain origins to their contrasting fates, these moons continue to captivate our imagination and fuel our desire to explore the cosmos. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of these Martian moons, we're bound to uncover even more secrets about the red planet, the solar system, and perhaps even our own place in the grand cosmic tapestry. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more cosmic adventures and be sure to like and share this video with your fellow space enthusiasts. And as always, keep those minds curious and those imaginations ignited. Until next time, keep exploring the cosmos.